because uh, Dutch nationals have a lot of freedom of traveling around the world. Um, there are other countries, but the Dutch sport is one of the ones that, that are good for traveling. Uh, and so it's sports, it sports a lot. And uh, the American government kept rejecting it, the, the proposals of security measures that they put in. And I think the purpose of doing that was keep rejecting it until they said, well, look, just go for our solution. Uh, and if you use our... But the, the, the interesting thing is, I don't think the American passport is, is as uh, protected as the, uh, as the European passport. Because it's now it's, it's a European passport. So uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't think so. I've seen the American passport and I was not impressed. I mean, it was very similar to the old Dutch design. That, uh, with paper and everything. And the, the, the problem with the paper, because they still have paper. And uh, the problem with paper is that it's amazing. I could not do it. But they, they cut the paper in half huh, with a very uh, sharp knife. It's unbelievable that they can do it, but they can actually cut the paper in half. Then they can take the picture out and put it in picture. In. They do. It's unbelievable. So they're very uh, uh, yeah. good at forging those documents. Um, it has to have legitimate purpose. Personal data can only be processed for specific, uh, explicit and legitimate purpose and may not be processed any further. So if you, in the European Union, if you process data, personal data, you have to tell why and you can only process it for that reason and not process it first. At least that is directed. Okay. Whether they obey the law and whether uh, you find out and whether you go to court over this is another thing. But uh, this is the law or this should the law be in every member state. Proportionality, right? things like only as far as adequate, relative and not excessive must be accurate and kept up to date. That's a very interesting one. Huh? Uh, you cannot keep data after its expiration date. You should also uh, have a, a consent for. Oh, that's, no, that's a new one that comes with it. That's the next one. Uh, this is the, the current directive that there is. Must be accurate and kept up to date or erased. Identification data should not be stored longer than necessary. Extra restrictions for sensible, uh, sensitive personal data, like. Uh, sexuality and uh, religion and uh, these, they, they are protected uh, even more right? because uh, of uh, well, uh, obvious reasons. Legal, legal decisions may not be based on pure automatic processing. Appeal must be provided for automatic address. So legal decisions that are in some way automated, uh, there should be uh, the possibility of uh, appeal. <coughs> Um, this is a regulation, so that means it's, uh, it's, it's mandatory, but this is, a, uh, uh, this is a proposal, I didn't write it down, but it's, uh, it's, it's, I don't think this regulation is already in, uh, no, I think it is, uh, yes, this is already in, uh, this uh, regulation is, it's a, it's a very recent regulation that went into, uh, into law that was uh, 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 a new directive. And here the first one is very interesting. Because we see that the EU is following all the other countries like the United States and saying our law is absolute. It's the only truth. Huh? Uh, which is kind of scary, because, for example, and this is a, we are here with ethics, so we have to ask ourselves these kind of questions, but uh, I am I'm very strongly opposed to uh, child pornography and, uh, and uh, sex with minors, but consider this, uh, there are Dutch people traveling to Thailand and abusing children. Uh, we, we all know that it's happening. We have seen it on TV. It's happening even now. Uh, 
they, uh, several countries, like also the Netherlands and uh, uh, America, have changed their law that they can uh, that they can uh, prosecute these people in the Netherlands for the things that they do in Thailand. Well, in this case, I say, well, uh, we don't, we really don't want it. And apparently, the local law, the local arm of the law, is not strong enough to deal with this. And uh, it is our citizens, because it is Dutch people. That is true. It is Dutch people. Uh, but still, if we if we think about this, it is an action. Even though it's a Dutch person, it's an action that they do in another country, in another jurisdiction, and it's scary to. It's kind of saying, well, my law is better than your law, and, uh, and, and, and I am going to put my law in your uh, jurisdiction, in your sovereign country. Uh, it's, it's, for example, uh, saying uh, in Italy the, the speed limit is uh, 150 kilometers an hour on the highway, and, but in the Netherlands it's 130. And it's kind of saying, well, we put a Dutch cop in, the, in Italy, and every Dutch person that goes uh, over 130 gets a ticket. Because we don't want Dutch people to drive faster than 130. It's kind of in, that, in, in, in the same corner. Huh? Uh, look, it's Italy. They have their own laws. And they have their own systems. And uh, if they allow the cars to drive 150, why should we limit because we in the Netherlands, we strongly believe that 130, that's, that's almost light speed. Huh? So uh, <laughs> we should go so fast. Um, so, it's, just, it's a very, for me it's a slippery slope to go down that track. Again, this is, this is the track that we are going down. Look, the EU is doing it as a, as a, as a, as a country. Again, if we look at what they do and why they do, it's, I am behind this one. I am, I am behind it, even though I'm saying, ah, it's, I don't know, I, I am behind it, but it's a slippery slope. What they say, this is about the data protection. And of course, this was an answer to the United States. In the United States, they have a law that the government may see everything. No questions asked. If we want this data, you have to give it to us. Give it, give it, give it. And uh, no restrictions apply in America. That's, the, uh, they are, that's their idea of, uh, of law. And a, a lot of Dutch, a lot of, uh, of European information is in America. For example, the Dutch passport is in America. So, even though in, it's fun. In the Netherlands, it's not allowed to store it because the, the Dutch government is not allowed to store the fingerprint information. Huh? They, they made a law that, that they cannot. The fingerprint information should be deleted as soon as it is written to the, to the document. Uh, the fingerprint is, uh, is you have, your fingerprint is scanned huh, by the, uh, I, I, I recently got a new uh, passport, and they scan your fingerprints, and they put this information on a chip on your passport, and by law, they have to delete it. They, they have to. And they, I think they most do, probably. Uh, but this information goes to America, and they don't have to delete it. So it's <laughs> so strange. Uh, but this is the problem. And more and more companies are working in the cloud. Uh, or, for example, a lot of citizens have things like Gmail. Me too. I have Gmail. So if you wrote any emails to me, uh, the American government is uh, reading them, huh? so just so you know, uh, to be careful. Uh, but more and more data is stored everywhere around the world, especially the EU and America at the moment. Uh, but uh, uh, India is also uh, coming up as a, as a storage company, where they have large computer companies like Infosys, who do all sorts of uh, cloud services where uh, your data could end up. Um, I have been to a, a lecture 
of a uh, of an American. Uh, uh, yeah, he was from the American Army, but he was also a professor in some research into the field of uh, espionage, and uh, he proved. I saw his work, and he proved that you can see all the data that is in the cloud, no matter how it's protected, unless <coughs> there's a unless it is uh, encrypted before it gets very good uh, encrypted before it gets onto the cloud. But if you encrypt it on the cloud, you're a sitting duck. It doesn't work because they can intercept it. Yes. You had to do research for that. Uh, well, the only uh, it was a, it was a short pr a proof of concept. But it was uh, it was uh, but but it was scary to see uh, how cool. easy it was. Because as soon as data leaves you, it is somewhere, and when it can be accessed somewhere, it's red. Yeah. No, yeah, well, we can go into it, but it was interesting to see. He, uh, 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 they wrote uh, a module onto the uh, Zen hypervisor, and they were able to uh, see all the encrypted data that was on the virtualization is not a cloud. Uh, but it's often used as, a, for example, if you go to Amazon, and, uh, and then you immediately have the problem that uh, I think I previously mentioned that if you have visualization, you always get the memory. And yes. If you get the memory, you always get the keys. Exactly. So it's trivial again. But, but they they proved it in a setup. They actually got the keys. Of, they they, uh, they set up a a, a lab. Uh, where they uh, um, where they stored information encrypted and they were easily to I mean, they, they could uh, well, then they real time see what's going on. The setup which holds if and only if they have full access to the hypervisor. Yes. Yeah. They so have to have access to the hypervisor. But that's mm -hmm. but if you have access to the hypervisor you usually have also access to your cloud software. Let's just exactly. catch up the yeah, well, it, it, no, no, but this was there was a, uh, but let's not go into it. But th this was the the reason is uh, the reason they did this is because of course they caught the, the Chinese by implementing uh, 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 all sorts of spy software into hardware, and uh, uh, this shows. Mostly, the Americans, I think, at the moment, are most scared of, uh, of uh, hardware that is designed to do eavesdropping. Huh? Uh, and there are a lot of examples about that. For example, one of the most, one of the best examples that I, I know of, uh, which I think is, is, is a great one, is the, the invisible fighter planes of, uh, of Israel. Uh, Israel bombed a nuclear installation in Syria, I think, a long time ago, years ago, uh, which is all the way in the north. So the, the Israeli jets had to fly all the way over Syria. And Syria never saw them. I mean, they have radar systems, and they see everything. They should see everything. Uh, Israel doesn't have uh, stealth technology. They have the same crap we have, the, 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 the F-16s, which are 50 years old. Uh, so. The Dutch government has uh, very the old. The F-16 is not 50 years old. 40 years? It's old. 20, 25. No, it's old. Um, I think it's old. It, it's from the 80s. 80s. Okay. Well, the Netherlands has the oldest one possible. I know that. It's for Phantom. Okay, well, you know it better than I. But, uh, it's, it's old technology, it's not new technology, and it's definitely not stealth. Yet they flew over uh, Syria and they were never seen. They say, but of course this is all speculation, but it's very likely that um, the radar system itself was not from uh, Israel, probably from Germany or something, whatever. But uh, the radar system itself was not from Israel. But the chip inside that did the digital processing was made in Israel. And it's very likely that there is a uh, secret key that you can send a, a radar signal that you can send like a rootkit, which kind of uh, uh, blocks out the view 
of this uh, jet. Yes. Actually, not entirely true. Uh, the uh, radar systems used were uh, Russian. Russian. And the rumor is that the Russians traded that said rootkit feature with the Israelis oh, for awesome. uh, features in uh, Virginia. Okay. So cool. they, 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 they got a little treat on their own. Yeah. And so they were like, cool. yeah, we have this back door. Here, get it. So we get one from that. Is, it, that it, is it, so it, interesting. It, it's, it's like in the sandbox when you treat your uh, light yeah. boxes. It's great. Yeah, but it shows. Uh, yeah, in the end, people die. It shows uh, the possibilities. Okay. But um, let's get back to the, to the data protection regulation. Uh, applies worldwide. Retention time must be provided. Here you see that there is retention time, so you cannot store data longer than is necessary. And uh, data must be deleted when the consent expires. And you say, yes, you may store my data, but only for one year, only for five years. And after that, it has to be deleted. Data, data breaches has to be reported within 24 hours. Uh, valid consent must be explicit. So it has to be written down or something. You have, you have to be explicit about yes, it is okay for you to store that information. There is a proposal for a cybercrime directive. Again, a directive, eh? so national law should, should implement this. Penalize the production, sale, procurement for use, import, distribution, or otherwise make it available of devices, tools, used for committing offenses. So they want to make... Uh, and, and this, of course, comes from the fact that, uh, especially in uh, Romania and Bulgaria, you can buy all sorts of uh, standard tools to do uh, uh, skimming and that kind of stuff. And you can buy uh, uh, ATM machine uh, caps that you can put over an ATM machine and it can copy the, the cards. And this is all legal because why should, maybe I want that in the house. Yeah, so why make it really good? Well, at least then you can stop the open sale of these things. But it's a start. I don't know, we can discuss it, but this is what they propose, huh? Yeah. Uh, include aggravating circumstances. Aggravating means uh, uh, making the, the sentence or the punishment stronger. Uh, in these cases. So, uh, if uh, botnets or similar tools are used, then you should be punished more heavily. Or uh, when an innocent third party is used. Uh, so if, if someone hacks my computer, and my computer is used, for example, to store uh, child pornography or something, and I get a victim as well, or I could have been a victim, then uh, there should be more punishment. Yeah. For me, this sounds more like a people have excuse. So, for example, if you have these yields in yeah. the uh, online banking business, um, that if you use mules, for example, you uh, are punished harder because an innocent third party is used because basically compromised systems being abused is already covered by botnets. Yeah. So I think this is kind of an excuse phrase for people not thinking twice when they got this little offer via email for lots of money for working from home for 5,000 euros yeah. a week. Well, um, do you think that's not real? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, go on. You're uh, but, yeah, it, it is an attempt to solve by law which should be solved by thinking. Yeah, well, I think we need both. I think we need both law and we need uh, structures in place like uh, uh, virus scanners protection in the software that better, but also, like you said, uh, more knowledge. It's a lot of knowledge also. Uh, introduce illegal interception as a criminal offense. Okay? So they, they say that uh, a lot of countries, like the Netherlands, uh, don't have this law explicit. Uh, because the Netherlands says, ah, we have plenty of laws, we can do this with other law. And they say, no, you must make a, a separate law, in this case, for uh, the interception. Let's go to the United States. Because uh, in, uh, in the United States, it's, it's completely different. They have a completely different view. Where you saw in the EU that it was protecting our rights and our, uh, this is very much our data. Uh, when it comes to privacy, it's very interesting to see. They have a, a, a very general rules. Physical or electronic intrusion into private quarters, public disclosure. This is what they consider 
uh, privacy or privacy, uh, uh, in, uh, 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 an invasion of your privacy or privacy. They have the, the HIPAA. Uh, this is about access of medical data. Who has access to that? FACTA. Uh, that protects your credit card information. Uh, but it's the, that they only show the last five digits. That's actually a law in the United States. They're not allowed to show more than five digits of your uh, credit card. That's this law. Uh, COPA websites must have uh, uh, parents' consent for uh, information from uh, children of 12 and uh, younger. So when we see to, when it comes to personal rights, they're very loose in the United States. Yeah? Of course, when it comes to crime, let's go business. The United States. Uh, they have the laws, and they will hunt your hiding down, and they will lock you up. Uh, we have a fraud with ID or identification or aggravated ID theft or fraud with computers or fraud with email, fraud with radio, TV, mischief on communication lines, sexual exploitation of children, sexual exploitation of minors. Uh, child pornography, domain name to see my Oh, this is a big one, eh? The infringement of copyright. We will get you. Huh? Uh, copyright offenses. You copy one MP3, that's going to cost you half a million dollars. Huh? Uh, trap and trace devices. So America does have a lot of laws when it comes to uh, crimes. Why this difference? Because American law, other than you have a lot of different laws, you have tax law, you have a, a, a criminal law, and you have law between people. And when it comes to law between people, in, uh, in the United States they have something which they call common law. And common law uh, comes from, the, from England, from the uh, UK, and you see that uh, uh, colonies or countries that are related to the UK have what they call common law. And in common law, there are basically no rules. Uh, it is the judge who decides. And the power of, uh, of, 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 of uh, uh, decisions, of issues between people, uh, if you and I have an argument, there's very little law in, in these countries. You go to a judge, and the judge says, hmm. and maybe you have seen country, uh, TV programs like Judge Judy. You can see it very clearly. She is like the ruler of the world. Because there is no law. What she says is what's going to happen. She has the, the legal power to, uh, to say what she wants. It's not this black and white. Of course, common law means that they have to look at each other. So if one judge says, oh, in this case, uh, I, I, will, I will favor you, then in the, in the following cases, they should also, other judges should kind of follow their gesture. But in, in, the, in the case of common law, there I'm is... Sorry, can yeah? you turn down the volume, please? Yeah, okay. can someone ask? Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, it's based on cases, not on other uh, criminal cases. This is very interesting. You will kick their ass. <laughs> Someone can uh, turn the volume down, I'm sure he is. He will rip the radio out. <laughs> uh, here, yeah, you managed to shred the radio. Very friendly people. <laughs> yes, but does it help? Uh, we have asked so many times. Uh, civil law, this is what we have in uh, Europe. It's, it's based on Roman. Roman Empire. The civil is from the Roman, it means civilian, uh, something like that. I don't, know. I'm, I don't speak uh, Roman or whatever. Um, I would be a very bad pope um, for more than just that reason. Um, <laughs> civil law, Europe, uh, Russia, South America, we have, based on principles or rules, we have these rule books. And we have, when we have issues and we go to the judge here, the judge picks the rule book and it, he looks into the rule book and he says, aha, okay, you are violating that rule and according to that rule you are right and it's a rule. Uh, it's a different kind of, of, uh, of, of law. 
Well, uh, let's look at what people uh, uh, at some people. People like uh, Kevin uh, Mitnick. He was uh, quite a hacker. I don't know. In, in my eyes, he's more like a social engineering kind of hacker. No? Um, but hacking has become so much easier uh, with all the tools that are around. There's plenty of tools to do all sorts of uh, bad things. Uh, of course, we know because we have some Dutch people. Yeah. If you're talking about tools, are you actually talking about bad sysadmins? Sorry? If you're talking about tools, are you actually talking about bad sysadmins? Bad? Sysadmin, system administrators. Oh, uh, bad system as a, as a tool, yeah. Uh, they are also a tool, yes, yes. In not protecting their system. No, but uh, there are all sorts of tools that you can download from the internet to create to create viruses, to create malware, to hack into systems. You can, of course, we all know that you can even rent botnets or parts of botnets to do all sorts of things, which make it very easy to do bad things. For example, we have uh, Jan de Witt, our Dutch, uh, or Kevin Mitnick, eh? he downloaded a tool from the internet, and he created a worm, uh, the Anna Kurnikova worm, which uh, read uh, Hancock on the internet, oh, a lot of people uh, had the problem. And as in, uh, in good Dutch tradition, we got 150 hours of community <laughs> service. Yeah, that will teach him. And he got a joke for uh, working for the government. <laughs> so, uh, 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 sometimes I'm not proud to say I'm Dutch. Uh, well, but we also have our <coughs> More advanced criminals we have uh, from the Hochschule of Den Haag, I uh, say in Den Haag. Uh, this guy, uh, David uh, Schroten, 21 year old uh, student, he had the website uh, corrupt and he traded uh, credit card details. And uh, this was his website, and here you can see you can buy airline tickets for what was it, 30% uh, of the price or so. So you can say, I want to go to New York. And let's say the KLM ticket is uh, 800 euros, you can get it for 30% of the, uh, so for 250 or so, you have your ticket. Uh, and he pays that with a stolen credit card, and uh, you fly la la la, to pay with a stolen credit card. But, uh, this is how it worked. Huh? Of course, uh, uh, America did not like this very much, and they, uh, they, 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 they went to the normal path of uh, <coughs> of uh, asking the Dutch police to arrest him and uh, to get him extradited to the United States and to, oh wait, no, they didn't. Um, because the Netherlands doesn't acknowledge the American law system. Because in America, the law works a little bit different than in Europe. In America, the way they do it is they, uh, they uh, get the suspect and they uh, uh, psychologically uh, uh, treat the subject, subject uh, until they uh, uh, they sign an agreement that uh, a confession. Uh, this is the, this is the, most cases in the United States do not go to court. They put a lot of psychological pressure on the person, and of course the, the sentences are tough in America. So, for example, uh, let's say I go to New York and I get arrested, and uh, I, I get interrogated, and they say, uh, "Look, uh, we say that you uh, are involved with drugs, ecstasy, or whatever." What happened? And uh, then he said, yeah, but I don't have, have ecstasy. But let's say, I mean, just that time I did not have ecstasy with me. So I can actually say, uh, no, but I never do something with ecstasy. I'll come in a minute. I, 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 I don't have ecstasy. I really want the ecstasy. <laughs> and I said, look, we can uh, take you to court, and you will be put in court, and there will be 12 Americans from the street. Uh, they, that, that's how it works in America. Huh? They, they pick 12 people randomly, and they put 12 people from the street, and they say, uh, we say that you are Dutch and that you have something to do with drugs. And we say that to these no random American people. I think we're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then you will be sentenced for, what, uh, 30 years. But you can also sign that you do have the drugs. Whether you have them or not is not the issue. You can decide that you do have the drugs and we can let you off with two years in prison, three years in prison. And this kind of psychological warfare, more or less, or treatment of the, this happens all, 
And most cases in America do not appear in court. They are dealt in this way. And because of this, uh, you take out a very important factor in criminal law, and that is an independent judge. Uh, because you have the prosecutor, which is the police or the justice department, and you have the, the subject who is being prosecuted. And uh, there should be an independent judge considering who is right. And you take away the, that issue. So the Netherlands doesn't, uh, uh, there's a lot of difficulty. They don't acknowledge the American law system. So it's very difficult for America